things that either have the same numerators or the same denominators. Let's have a look at the two fractions behind me. What can you tell just by looking at these two fractions? We can tell that they have the same denominator. They both have 6, but they don't have the same numerators. So we have to use the numerators to compare them. This fraction has 3, 1, 6. And this fraction has a count of 5, 1, 6. So this fraction must be greater. Let's check. Three six and five six. We can easily tell that five six is much greater than three six. Let's have a look at another one. Now we have two more fractions. Let's have a look at them. This time we have one third and one fifth. How do we compare these fractions? Well, we know they have the same numerators. But the denominators are different, so we have to compare them using their denominators. The denominator in this fraction tells us there's three equal parts of a whole. The denominator in this fraction tells us there's five equal parts of a whole. With this one, we know that there's fewer parts in the whole, which means each part is bigger. So we know this fraction is greater. Let's have a look at that. So we have one third and one fifth. We can easily tell that one third is greater than one fifth. Let's try another one. Now we have two more fractions up on the board. Let's have a look. This time we have six eighths and six tenths. What can you notice just by looking at these two numbers? Well, we know that they have the same numerator. They both have 6, but they have, this, they have different denominators. This is how we can compare them using their denominators. The denominator in this fraction is 8. So we know there's 8 equal parts in that whole. This denominator in this fraction is 10. So we know there's 10 equal parts in that whole. This fraction has fewer parts, so each part must be bigger. That's how we know this fraction is greater. Let's check that one out. We have 6 eighths and 6 tenths. We can tell that 6 eighths is larger than 6 tenths. My challenge to you is to find out which fraction out of the pairs is bigger? And I'll show you them up, my, up on the board now. Thanks.